Now let's take you to Delta where we've got the National Youth Games. Updates from the National Youth Games says Team Akwaibom defeated Team Yobe 2-1 at the JJ Okocha Stadium in Oguashu Uku, Delta State to qualify for the football quarterfinals at the ongoing National Youth Games as about 2023. They will face the winner of the match between Team Bayelsa and Team Plateau in the quarterfinals. Of course, um, there are also concerns as um, Godwin Osarity has won Team Edo another gold medal in the individual 10K cycling event. She won the gold the expense of Aisha Arogudade of Team Delta. Now, concerns are rift that um, the athletes have been lamenting of poor state of facility at the camp. At the Stephen Cashew Stadium, Asaba, some athletes lamented that um, the hostel accommodation provided by the state's sport commission was poor and horrible. Now, of course, according to the athletes, the poor hostel accommodation will affect their performance in the ongoing games. Now, joining us to elaborate that and know what um, the situation is really like, because right now we, have, we don't have a clear picture of what the complaints are from these athletes who are representing the state at the National Youth Games in Delta State. We've got um, a head of sports, Trend FM, from Delta, Asaba, Julian Ajuma. Thank you so much, Julian, for joining us on the show today. Yeah, thank you, Oye. It's great to be on the show. Thank you for having me. Great to have you. Please bring us up to speed. We are concerned to hear about the unhygienic conditions at the National Youth Games in Asaba, Delta State. Come on. At least deserve safe and comfortable accommodations. What is the rational between, um, behind um, Delta not fixing all these before the start of the game? Delta had a long period to prepare for these games, even after a series of postponements. And at this time, is this what we should be seeing at the games? Um, one of the to fight the a recent postponement of the games. Like you rightly said, it was supposed to take place on the 7th of September, but it was now postponed till the 20th, between 20th and 30th of September. And the reason why we're having this accommodation issue is because schools have resumed. So some, some schools are not willing to let out or give out their hostel facilities. And I also remember that in the press conference held before the start of the competition, before even the opening ceremony, the chairman of the Delta State Sports Commission, Chiktuno Bokokua, was asked about the welfare of the athletes in terms of feeding. I asked the question in terms of feeding and host accommodations. He said that there's just a little issue, and the little issue is because schools are now in session, and some of the schools have declined, you know, Delta State making use of their hosting facilities for the national games. So that beddings, bed sheets, pillowcases, new brand new ones have been bought for some persons who may not get hotel allocation so that they can make use of a hall. He mentioned that. So it's not something that is strange, it's not something that came to many as a shock. But we must also point out that there are also other quality hostel facilities for these athletes. You know that this is a national competition. And like you rightly said, Delta had known before now that they were going to host. And I can tell you from what I've seen, at least at least them other hosted facilities, they're in top quality, top quality hosted facilities. Mm. If the schools were not in session now, and even if they're in session, if they are agreed to release their hostel or these athletes to make use of them, will not be seen all of this report. Mm. But I must also say that hosting this competition has not been an easy one, and there is no there's no state or there's no, even no country that hosts the competition and you see everything going 100%. There will always be one small issue here and there. So the organizers are working on it. Uh, the project manager for hotel accommodations, Ademola Arabe, addressed the press earlier today and said everything is going well and that uh, things will get better as the games continue. So there's no cause for alarm, in my opinion. I Delta State are doing their best to make sure that all the athletes are well taken care of in terms of accommodation. Feeding. I've also had All right. interviews where most of the athletes have said that they are comfortable with the user accommodation. So, so just these few issues that have been sorted out at this point in time. All right, um, but what we can see right now are deplorable states of the hostel. We're hoping that these are just few out of the many 
that are accommodating these athletes. Let's um, go to the concerns about um, delay in screening. How is the decision to use the national identification number rather than the facial screening of athletes going at the National Youth Games? A lot are complaining of the time wasting for the screening with the NIN. Julian, can you bring us up to speed with that? Yes, uh, screening has been a major issue, to be honest. You know, there have been a lot of concerns about some state fielding over age athletes. This is supposed to be a competition for athletes under the age of 15. But what we have seen from some states, uh, they have brought in athletes who are way older than the age of 15. Mm. That's why when they said they were going to make use of the NRM as part of the screening process, it was laudable. It was something that we were all excited about. But in some of the events that we saw some of these anomalies, the NIN was not in use. Mm. According to what I, what I heard, they said they were using facial, um, facial how, the, how the athlete looks and all of to detect the possible age of the athletes. And all of these things are going to come up. Mm. For instance, in the football event for Team Delta yesterday, they played against uh, the state, the Kaduna State uh, football team. And they lost by five goals to zero. And the coach of the Delta State team was complaining about the fact that they played against a Kaduna State team who fielded virtually overaged footballers who claimed that they were 15, but when you look of things, they were way taller, way bigger, and even look more mature than even the players that take Delta fielded. So all of these things would happen. And it's just for the coaches as well to ensure that they know the true essence of the National Youth Games. It's not a okay. win at all cost event. Okay. It's it's, dominant, it's predominantly for athletes under the age of 15, but we've seen some states fielding athletes who are way older than the age of 15 in various events. Okay, but we still hear that um, it's causing a lot of delay to the start of the event. Now, th there's one surprising thing today, a revelation where Tim Delta was caught parading able-bodied athletes as disabled at the 2023 National Youth Games. Can you give us a clearer picture? What really transpired and how was it reserved? Because we did see that video making the rounds on social media. Yes, from my findings, um, one of the coach said that the athletes actually had a disability before now, and that before now he had also had he had also competed in in competitions that had to do with uh, disabled athletes. But that all of a sudden, that mm. those who were screened felt that this, this boy in question is not disabled, mm. and at the end of the day, they said that he was disqualified. He was not allowed to compete in the table tennis event. So. It's just one of the few issues that we've had in, in this competition. But I'm sure that the coaches need to do a lot of work. Any athlete who is not eligible to participate in any event should not be allowed to participate. Mm. Yes, everyone wants to win, but we should not forget the importance attached to the national games. It's about catching them young. Mm. It's about discovering talents, not for now, but for the future. Mm. So if all the coaches are fielding over each athlete, it doesn't... It doesn't take us anywhere. Mm. It already spoils the, the tradition and what we hope to achieve at the end of the competition like this. Mm. So we hope that before, between now and the end of the competition, we'll not have issues like this. All right. I know that there are some states who will surely come with provide at but they should not be allowed to participate if oh. the screening persons feel that they are over the age for participation. Thank you so much, Julian Ajumwa. I wish we could go on with the conversation, but time to wrap, friend. Thank you for giving us a clear picture of um, the ongoings over there at the National Youth Games at Saba Delta State. Yeah, I appreciate it.